Hello, and welcome to Daily Devotions for this first Monday in Advent 2020. For this Advent season, we are bringing to you a series of devotions from a book that has become one of my favorites over the years. It's a book called God is in the Manger, a collection of Advent and Christmas devotions by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Dietrich Bonhoeffer is one of the 20th century's most well-known and well-loved theologians. He lived from 1906 to 1945 in Germany and was an ardent uh, critic and activist uh, against the Third Reich as it began to take over in Germany. And he continued to struggle against uh, the Nazis um, in his role as preacher uh, throughout the 12 years that followed uh, their occupation beginning in 1933. His uh, vocal criticism of the Nazi regime landed him in prison in 1943, and he was eventually executed there in 1945, just 10 days before the Germans began to surrender. But I want to read to you uh, just a, a portion of the editor's preface here that will help explain why uh, we chose this work for this Advent to share with you. Scott McKnight writes this. For Bonhoeffer, waiting, one of the central themes of the Advent experience, was a fact of life during the war. Waiting to be released from prison, waiting to be able to spend more than an hour a month in the company of his young fiance, Maria von Wedemeyer, waiting for the end of the war, in his absence, friends and former students were killed in battle and his parents' home was bombed. There was little he could do about any of this except pray and wield a powerful pen. There was a helplessness in his situation that he recognized as a parallel to Advent, Christian's time of waiting for redemption in Christ. Life in a prison cell may well be compared to Advent, Bonhoeffer wrote to his best friend Eberhard Bethke as the holidays approached in 1943. One waits, hopes, and does this, that, or the other, things that are really of no consequence. The door is shut and can only be opened from the outside. Our hope is to offer uh, an adult education class examining some of the writings of Bonhoeffer early in 2021. And we thought that this Advent devotional might be a fitting introduction to that, but also tap some themes that have become familiar to all of us in our own season of waiting. So each day of Advent, um, we will, uh, you'll hear what, somebody read uh, a section of Bonhoeffer's writings, followed by a brief quote, often from Bonhoeffer himself, usually from one of his letters, and then a scripture verse or two that pertain to the theme of the day. Now this book has seven devotions for each week. You'll only be hearing four of them from us. So if you're intrigued by this, if you find it helpful, you might consider purchasing a copy of the book itself and perhaps it will become a favorite for you as it has for me. Today I read to you uh, a devotion titled, The Advent Season is a Season of Waiting. Here's Bonhoeffer. Jesus stands at the door knocking, Revelation 3.20. In total reality, he comes in the form of the beggar, of the dissolute human child in ragged clothes asking for help. He confronts you in every person that you meet. As long as there are people, Christ will walk the earth as your neighbor as the one through whom God calls you, speaks to you, makes demands on you. That is the great seriousness and great blessedness of the Advent message. Christ is standing at the door. He lives in the form of a human being among us. Do you want to close the door or open it? It may strike us as strange to see Christ in such a near face, but he said it, and those who withdraw from the serious reality of the Advent message cannot talk of the coming of Christ in their heart either. 
Christ is knocking. It's not, it's still not Christmas, but it's also still not the great last advent, the last coming of Christ. Through all the advents of our life that we celebrate runs the longing for the last advent, when the word will be, see, I am making all things new. Revelation 21, five. The advent season is a season of waiting, but our whole life is an advent season. That is a season of waiting for the last advent, for the time when there will be a new heaven and a new earth. A quotation from Letter to Bonhoeffer's Parents, November 29th, 1943, written from Tegel Prison Camp. We can and should also celebrate Christmas despite the ruins around us. I think of you as you now sit together with the children and with all the Advent decorations, as in earlier years you did with us. We must do all this even more intensively because we do not know how much longer we have. A reading from Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Listen. I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you and you with me. Amen. Blessed Advent. <laughs>